Welcome to Outlaw Woodworking. Work hard, get dough. I can't get no sleep, which make my life more simple. But I wouldn't trade a thing for what I have. I go hard, do what I need to make it last. They say the good die young, I hope I'm bad. Cheers to my past. You know, one of my favorite times of the year is Christmas. And I love making things for little kids and sometimes big kids too. But little kids are my favorite because, you know, they're the ones that, you know, they wake up super early in the morning and run down the stairs to, to the Christmas tree and see what's under there. And they, it's just fun to watch them enjoy life. And um, anyway, so recently I, I thought about really small kids, like one, two years old that could, you know, play around with something. And recently I, recently I downloaded, um, on the Vectric software, I downloaded GearMaker. And this was my prototype, which was just something that a little kid could spin this around. But the gears, the gears were too tight. The eighth inch bit, um, it got in there pretty good, but it, it was a little bit, um, they were a little too tight. So, and that was my first go around. But so what I did was, I basically went in the went back in there, used the same um, material dimension and everything, but I wanted to create some bigger gears. So basically, what I did was when I typed in these gears, I put 30 teeth, and it basically on the teeth per inch. Anyway, what happened is it made it small. So you got to play around with that a little bit. So in this one, I I did the same thing, but I typed in less teeth. And then I did the per per inch. I think I put four per inch or something like that. Um, and it created this big gear right here. And I liked that size. It was the perfect size for this little thing. So basically what I did is that I made two of these gears like this. And then when I typed in the second gear, I did half as many teeth. And that created this smaller gear. The next thing I did was I wanted these things to spin really nicely. So I you know, thinking about my skateboarding days, I, I got some German skateboard bearings and I, and I cut a recess into both sides of, both sides of this, uh, each of the gears, I cut a hole in both sides so that these skateboard bearings could fit right in there. And then what I did was I got a small washer. You want the washer to fit on the center piece and not touch the outside. And then, and then they'll spin really nicely. Um, so, and then I'll, obviously I have a hole there for the, for the dowel to go in. And um, yeah, and then I just bolted these things together. And this is what I came up with. So um, yeah, let me show you on the CNC. I'll show you the CNC cutting it out. The other thing I learned was, um, I'm using an eighth inch spiral bit on my CNC by Spectra. Uh, I think it's a 46176. I'll, I'll put a picture out of here though. But what I realized was it was going really fast and it was going a little too fast. Like you, every once in a while, like you can see on this one, it knocked out a little piece there. But what I realized is this is just pine, so it's soft material. You should slow down that speed. And it was, um, it was running at 120, inches per minute or something like that and whatever it was I reduced it in half so when it cut these big these get when it cut all these gears it was the speed of the bit would stay the rpms was the same I just made it go a little slower so it took its time doing it and it really wasn't that slow but I'll show you me cutting it right here
Anyway, this is the final product. I got four of them. So they're gonna go out to my nieces and nephews. And um, the next project, I'm hoping to make a little car with some wheels. Um, but I'm gonna spend the next month making some different toys for little kids because that gives me a little bit of pleasure. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you next time. Later. Work hard, get dough. I can't get no sleep, which make my life more simple.